I'm going to model this lamp, and probably a lot of people would do this with a cylinder, but I'm going to do with the uh, screw modifier, one of my favorite techniques. All right, so I've got my image in the background here. I'm in front ortho mode, and I'm going to go shift A, and add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees on the X, and go in, whoops, go into edit mode and merge all those vertices in the center. All right, and pull this one vertice up to the top. And as you can see, the image is not perfectly flat and symmetrical. So I'm just gonna have to take some liberties here. And I'm going to hit E to extrude and G to grab and constrain to the X axis. And I'm just gonna move that point over to here. And as you can see, it's not exactly on the diagram, so it's not gonna look exactly like this lamp, but it's gonna be a, a lamp. E and G. And pull that down to here. And I'll try to do this little bit of a lip here. I might actually do something up there later. Come out a little bit. Come on down here. And I'll just round this corner. And then I go E, G, X, and I'm gonna come straight back. Yeah, having some trouble with that today. Okay, so it's not gonna look exactly the same, but it's gonna be fine, I hope. And to open this panel, then I'm gonna hit zero to zero it out on the X axis, both of those first and last points. I may be actually getting rid of those, and you can see my profile here. Modify screw and when that happens I'm going to switch to the y-axis and uh, that is uh, going to be my shade subdivision surface here and uh, as you can see it looks kind of funny so I'm going to delete this uh, top point of course we want it open and I'm going to actually delete that point too and I'll switch over to uh, solid okay so we're going to get that kind of a thing now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the screw modifier. Oops, out of edit mode. Apply the screw modifier, and I'm going to add a solidify. I'll bring it a, uh, above my subsurf, and I'll work on this part uh, a little bit later on. And I think I'll go ahead and apply that. Actually, maybe I'll have a have a look at this. Yeah, okay. Let's see uh, if I can bring in a ring here. Now, if I just do that let's see um, if I can do something with this I'm gonna go uh, E to extrude scale shift Z just bring it out just a little bit and I'll bring another edge loop up here and maybe I'll go in put an edge loop here and here and hopefully that'll look okay. Okay, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna hide this and set myself up to do the rest of it. So obviously the light bulb is in here in the socket and I can't see that. So I'm just going to um, just do what I can here. I'll attempt to merge the points. I'm gonna start you know, somewhere up here and I'm just gonna come down around here. Okay. get to this part that's visible I'll take a little bit more care oops let's go in here all right and then I'm gonna come out and I'll keep going around the profile here come out got my baby daughter uh, sitting or sleeping in her bassinet beside and she's gurgling a bit and she may need some attention so we'll play this by ear in the meantime I'm just uh, going around the profile of this I'm I don't think I'm gonna be doing these indentations here actually why don't I maybe I'll put a, I'll put a little ridge in there too just for interest 
Okay, now I just make my way around. I'm not doing anything, you know, careful with these points. I'm just trying to get a bit of a curve. I think I'll put a little ridge in here too, just a small one. And come on back, right down to here. I'll come down there and we're into the base. And then come all the way down here. And I'll start rounding it home a little bit. Now, I'm going to do uh, this one more and then I'm going to go back to zero. Okay, we don't need this part. It doesn't work well with the screw modifier. So, uh, last point, find my first point, if I could see it up there. There it is. N to open the side panel. Zero. Object mode and close that. And there's my profile. Screw modifier on the Y axis. Subdivision surface of two. Let's go back in. Let's actually delete this point and have a look at it. Okay, come down to here. And I think I'm going to delete that point as well. I like that. So I'm going to apply the, that and I'm going to add a solidify. Am I? Now, you know what? I don't think I will. Let's try something else. Let's come into this. And in edge mode, I'm going to hit F to make to make a face down there. Probably don't need it, but uh, I'm going to do the same thing up at the top, actually. Oh. And uh, I'm just going to do this. Okay, no, that's not going to be visible. Alt H. And that is it um, for the lamp. I've got a little bit of a of a scene here, so let's take um, take this, scale it. Yeah, my daughter is making some noises here, and uh, I don't need the background image anymore. So I'll hide that, and let's see if we can make sure that lamp is sitting on the ground table or whatever okay that's okay let's come to here let's I've got some uh, materials well not really good materials but <laughs> pre-made anyhow and uh, I think I do and, uh, are we in the camera yeah Let's have a look at that in rendered view. You know, and that's that's what you get. Uh, may not be the greatest scene, but something. Okay, so I I will uh, render this and we'll come back and just have a quick quick look at it. And here's the final render. All right, it's uh, nothing spectacular or anything. Um, and obviously you could spend more time on all of this, but I mean, it's just a real quick method to get a pretty, uh, pretty cool result. All right, thank you for watching.